Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. If you're after a brilliantly capable, all-electric family SUV, then the Nissan Aria should be at the top of your list. The Aria is only the Japanese manufacturer's second full EV for Europe, following on from the success of its Leaf electric car. The good news is it's been worth the wait, and the Aria's obvious talents will convince more family buyers to make the move to battery-powered motoring, comfortable and good to drive. The Aria feels a real step up for Nissan in terms of quality, engineering and onboard technology. Its coupe SUV body looks good. While there's plenty of useful practical touches in the cabin to make life that little bit easier. We especially like the electronically operated center console that is able to move back and forth. Depending on whether you'd like more space in the front or rear, the Aria range starts with a 63 kWh, usable, battery option. Coupled with a 215 bhp electric motor that provides a claimed 250 miles of range. A larger 87 kWh battery option is also available with a choice of a 239 bhp single motor or 302 bhp dual motor E4 ORS powertrains too, with the latter offering a seriously quick 5.7 second 0 to 62 mph time. But the Aria isn't just about the numbers, we rate it so highly because it performs strongly across the board. It's the most premium Nissan we've seen yet an exceptional EV in our 2022 car of the year. The Ionic 5 has its sights firmly set on premium rivals such as the Audi Q4 e-tron, Volkswagen ID.4 and Tesla Model Y make no mistake, the Ionic 5 is impressive across the board. Showcasing next-gen electric car tech along with capable performance and charging ability normally reserved for high-end models like the Porsche Taycan and Audi e-tron GT. Two battery options are available with three power outputs. The entry 58 kWh battery is paired with a single 168 bhp motor driving the rear wheels, delivering a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.5 seconds and a range of 238 miles. The 214 bhp mid-spec version offers the best range, with a 73 kWh battery increasing the total distance able to be covered on a single charge to 280 miles. The top spec variant uses the same 73 kWh battery, but adds a second motor at the front, giving a combined total of 301 bhp and 605 Nm of torque. Overall range falls slightly to 267 miles. Although performance is much improved with 0 to 62 taking 5.2 seconds. Starting from around 42,000 pounds, the Ionic 5 features a superb infotainment system and generous standard kit. While the available space has to be seen to be believed. It's comfortable, too, so you'll relish the chance of racking up the miles. We certainly did. Which is why we named the Hyundai Ioniq 5 our car of the year for 2021. The Kia EV6 is the sister vehicle to the Hyundai Ioniq 5, so it's a great pick if you love that model's technology, but aren't quite as sold on its retro-futuristic looks. The EV6 is arguably the more conventional of the two, and it's a bit lower and more sporting. This is reflected in its handling with slightly firmer suspension offering sharper responses. It's offered in long-range RWD, long-range AWD and a high-performance GT version, and the entry-level version is our favorite. It not only offers the best range figure of up to 328 miles from its 77.4 kWh battery, but we also found its 7.2 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time to be quick enough. With all-wheel drive, the next step up is undeniably faster, lopping 2 seconds off its benchmark sprint time. But it also has a slightly shorter range. Costs considerably more and doesn't feel entirely comfortable to drive quickly. Every version features impressive ultra-rapid charging at up to 250 kilowatts, so if you can find a fast enough public charger, a top up from 10 to 80 percent is possible in less than 20 minutes. Its interior is no less desirable. 
thanks to a dashboard dominated by a pair of curved 12.3-inch screens for the instruments and infotainment setup. The Enyaq is an all-electric family car that is typically Škoda, that is to say it's practical, well-equipped, comfortable and decent to drive, with top-spec models able to cover over 300 miles from a full charge. It soothes any range anxiety and just gets on with being an excellent family car, that just happens to run on battery power. Škoda has come up with an innovative way of helping you to personalize your new Enyaq. Instead of standard trim levels it offers five individual design selections, loft, lodge, lounge, suite and eco-suite. Each provides a distinct design approach, with different materials used to create a certain style. Standard kit is generous with 19-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, a virtual cockpit digital instrument display, climate control, cruise control and rear parking sensors all featuring on the base model. Unfortunately, the Enyaq no longer qualifies for the government's plug-in car grant, which is capped at £32,000 the Enyaq starts from just under £35,000. The Fiat 500 nails its city car brief perfectly, it's competitively priced, offering low running costs and plenty of Italian flair. Although the third-generation car is a little bigger than its combustion engine predecessor, the 500 EV is still at home darting through urban traffic. While you shouldn't have any trouble parking as even the entry-level models come with rear parking sensors as standard, two battery options are available. A 42 kWh, long-range, version and a 24 kWh, city range, variant. The city range offers up to 115 miles of range from a single charge. Although the bigger battery gives you a more practical 199 miles before needing to recharge. Inside, the cabin is suitably stylish, while you'll benefit from a host of onboard tech. Base cars offer a 7-inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. While moving up through mid and top spec models brings a rear view camera and a 10.25 inch infotainment touchscreen. The BMW i4 demonstrates the brand's commitment to both an electrified future and its rich heritage for delivering cars that are great to drive. Arguably, the best part about the i4 is the way it handles. Despite weighing in at over 2 tons, it feels brilliant through the corners with precise steering, feels and impressive agility. In fact, near silent progress aside, you'd struggle to tell the difference between it and a fossil-fueled 4 Series Grand Coupe. The standard eDrive 40i4 produces 335 bhp and 430 Nm of torque, which should be plenty for everyday driving. Yet there's also a 536 bhp i4 M50 version, which is the first electric car to be produced by BMW's performance-focused M division. The 335 bhp model is offered in both Sport and M Sport trim levels, both of which come with a healthy amount of kit. M Sport models get mostly cosmetic upgrades for an extra £1,500. Optional kit is rather expensive, however, and the i4 doesn't offer quite as much value for money as its rivals. BMW has delivered some fine electrified models over the years. With the revolutionary i8 sports car and more mainstream i3 Super Mini standing out as superb examples of the German manufacturer's engineering skill, following on from the more recent introductions of the all-electric X3 SUV and i4 Grand Coupe. The X is the first of BMW's battery-powered SUVs to be built on a dedicated EV platform. There are three versions currently available. The first is the 332 bhp X Drive 40 with a 71 kW battery that's good for a range of up to 257 miles while the other two versions are the 516 bhp x drive 50 and the upcoming 611 bhp m60 these more powerful variants up the battery size to 105 kilowatts and will achieve a claimed maximum of 380 and 357 miles respectively all versions of the bmw x feature a four-wheel drive 
dual motor setup and, although this contributes to a rather hefty curb weight of over 2,400 kilograms, the X handles surprisingly well and grips reassuringly through corners. The ride is incredibly refined. 2. With the suspension doing an excellent job of absorbing the vibrations and bumps of even the most pothole-riddled roads. Make your way inside and you'll be greeted by a plush, distinctively styled cabin filled with high-quality materials. Not only does it look and feel good, it performs well, too. With a dual-screen infotainment setup featuring the latest version of BMW's iDrive, the Mustang Mach-E is Ford's first all-electric SUV, and is one of the most important cars for the Blue Oval in a generation, starting from around 43,000 pounds. The Mach-E is a practical and well-priced EV that offers great handling and a generous list of standard kit. It doesn't compromise on pace, either. With the fastest 346 bhp all-wheel drive version capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, the model range consists of 68 kWh standard range battery variants with either rear or four-wheel drive. The former offers up to 273 miles of range and the latter 243 miles. Move up to the 88 kWh extended range cars and you'll benefit from more miles on a single charge. Acclaimed 379 miles for the RWD model and 335 miles for the AWD first edition SUV. The Mustang Mach-E is nothing like its iconic sports car namesake, but it's a well-crafted electric SUV that still offers a breadth of skills. And, if you're after more pace. The 480 bhp Mach-E GT performance model is even faster, and boasts, Magnaride, adaptive suspension. The new Porsche Taycan is a brilliant car to drive, remaining true to its maker's heritage and leaving you in no doubt that this is a proper Porsche sports saloon. The Taycan delivers sports car-like handling, with ferocious acceleration and great agility, yet still offers four seats and a usable range. It's not often that a car comes along that feels truly revolutionary. But that is exactly what the Porsche Taycan is, and it shows how much fun a plug-in future can be. Despite being a hefty 2.2 tons in weight, it hides its bulk well, and is able to weave neatly through tight corners and demolish fast, sweeping bends. The Taycan's raw pace is, frankly, ridiculous. In, standard 523 bhp 4s guise it manages the 0 to 62 miles per hour benchmark in 4.0 s, although if you upgrade to the 750 bhp turbo s version, it's a staggeringly quick 2.8 s. Don't forget though, the Taycan should also be pretty easy to live with as a daily driver. Refinement is top notch and, while ride comfort is firm, the air suspension does its job of dealing with the broken, uneven tarmac of UK roads. The Taycan clearly defines how Porsche sees its own future in the changeover from using fossil fuels to electric power. It's an accomplished first step, splendidly executed and one that should ease the minds of the driving enthusiast. The Model 3 was the electric car many had been waiting for. It's a compact executive saloon rivaling the likes of the Mercedes C-Class and BMW 3 Series, a market with broad mainstream appeal, and it's also one of the most convincing electric cars that money can buy. It combines minimalist style, space-age technology, grin-inducing performance, cutting-edge charging tech, supported by the expansive and dedicated Tesla supercharger network, and, most importantly, a long driving range. The entry-level standard range plus model claims up to 267 miles on a single charge, but it doesn't sacrifice performance to achieve this. The electric motor drives the rear wheels and powers the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, while top speed is 140 miles per hour. The interior is nothing like what you'll find in any BMW or Audi. The minimalist approach might not be to everyone's taste but you can't deny the wow factor. Spend a bit more. 
and the four-wheel drive long-range version has two electric motors and a larger battery for a range of 360 miles, with 0 to 60 miles per hour dropping to 4.2 seconds. Then there's the Model 3 Performance, which scorches from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, but is still capable of 352 miles on a full battery.